Hello everyone, my name is Demetrius White and I will be talking to you today about the topic examining relationships between teachers quitting, rising school violence, teacher burnout, and stagnated wages and the causes or the, the events that are leading up to teachers deciding to leave the workforce. Alright, so if we look at this picture here, what does it say to you? Vacancy, right? So when we look at the education field as a whole now nationally, there is a cry for teachers, qualified teachers in the classroom. So what happened to why to make teachers want to leave the career field? You know, some of whom opted to retire earlier than what they had planned on. So when we look at this, we're going to talk about teacher burnout. Of course, it's an important issue in education, and it occurs when teachers suffer from chronic physical and mental fatigue, cynicism, and apathy from work, and a diminished sense of accomplishment. So there are many factors that contribute to teacher burnout, and we're going to take a um, take a minute to look at a few in the form of a quantitative research study. We'll look at how um, the heavy workloads, the long hours, the lack of support from administrators, the demanding tasks, challenging student behavior, and limited autonomy that teachers are dealing with on a daily basis that are have left, that have left them with the decision to just either retire or change career fields altogether and start over. So burnouts also affect teacher well-being as well as their mental health, negatively impacting the learning environment and the student outcomes. So our research questions for today. Research question number one, what are the main factors contributing to teacher shortage in a specific region? In our case, we're going to focus on Mississippi, although the issue is uh, a national issue. How does teacher shortage vary across different subject areas or grade levels, meaning is it more prominent in like your tested subjects, those high stress areas being science, I'm sorry, science uh, really for eighth graders in middle school and more so reading or ELA and math at every grade level. What is the impact of the teacher shortage on student performance or academic outcomes? Number four, what is the relationship between teacher salaries and a teacher shortage? Are teachers leaving? Uh, one of our uh, topics was stagnated wages. They can go somewhere else and make more money. How does the teacher shortage affect teacher workload and job satisfaction? Because there's a shortage, many teachers are having to do more than what they would normally do. Take on the workload of other teachers. Um, an example would be substitutes are not always readily available. So a lot of times teachers have to split classes. So you have your class as well as another class. All right, what are the recruitment and retention strategies that are most effective in addressing the teacher shortage? So our hypothesis here is what we're testing is the teacher shortage, the shortage of teachers can be attributed to factors such as what well, we've said it before, stated before, stagnated salaries, burnout from increased stress from the work environment and challenging work conditions including increased school violence. So in looking at those different topics, we're just talking about teacher retention. So here, uh, we went to the Southern Regional Education Board and we're talking about teacher retention levels, those things that will be beneficial to be put in place to try to keep teachers in the classroom, to keep qualified teachers in the classroom. So you have your recognition and promotion. Give teachers that autonomy that would allow them to be the leader of their class. Allow them opportunities to for, for career growth. 
and not keep them stagnated in positions uh, because you lack other people to fill them. Offer better incentives that would make them want to stay. Bonuses. All right, school leadership. Promote a, pro a positive climate and culture for your teachers. Make them feel valued like they want to show up every day. Coaching and support. Provide them support to do the tasks that they need to do. And then equity. Favorable working conditions. So teacher burnout again, taking a look at the picture, you see this lady here who's a little disheveled, her hair's all over the place. She has a dolly stack full of papers. You have all of these different tasks that teachers have to deal with, lesson plans, grade papers, call parents, um, spend your own uh, money for resources for the class. Um, dealing with student behavior, students pranking teachers and not really having consequences for their actions. You're going to bed late and waking up early just to do it all over to do it all over again. So teacher shortages have plagued education system for a while. Previous research suggests that teacher turnover and retention rates are correlated with teachers' perceptions of overall job satisfaction. So in here, our conceptual framework, we're looking at examining teachers in education, those byproducts they're leaving the workforce due to raising school violence, a rise in school violence, burnout, and stagnated wages, which have all led to the teacher shortage. So here, this is designed, we're using Heisberg, Mosner and Schneiderman's motivational hygiene theory. So if we look here, the, really, the research design will be correlational. The questions will be distributed via SurveyMonkey um, through email, hard copies, interviews, um, group discussions. It's gonna be comprised of randomly selected educators from various school districts within the state. The plan uh, is to select educators, retire, those who've decided to leave the workforce within the last three to five years. All right, so assumptions and delimitations and limitations. Addressing the shortage requires a multifaceted approach. Some possible solutions could be simple as increasing salaries and benefits to make being a teacher more economically attractive. So then we also are looking at promoting teachers as worthy and respectful professions throughout public campaigns and social initiatives so that they can get back what they're due as far as the respect of being a teacher from the students as well as the parents as well as the communities. In conclusion, the teacher shortage have been a burden on the education system for some time. Previous research suggests that teacher turnover retention rates are correlated with teachers' perceptions and overall job satisfaction. Nonetheless, there is a need to improve our knowledge of the status of teachers in this field and various and variables of job satisfaction that lead to turnover. So long story short, teachers are screaming for help. The education field is screaming for help. Uh, we're banging our head on the table, just reaching out. All right, and here are our references.